So you made it through your first day in Scrap Mechanic Survival, and now you want to know what to do next. In this video, we're going to build our first vehicle and find the workshop. If you haven't already done so, I recommend watching my first Scrap Mechanic Survival Beginner's Guide. It covers all the basics of the game. The link is down in the description below. Let's get started by building our first vehicle. To build your vehicle, you're going to need to come inside of your ship and go to the craft bot. You're going to need to craft a scrap gas engine, a scrap, gra scrap driver's seat, four scrap wheels, six bearings, and the connect tool. Now you may have found some of these materials while you were wandering around the area, maybe when you looted a building, which is great. Otherwise, you're gonna have to craft all these. If you're short on resources, don't worry, I'm gonna show you where you can get most of these resources in just a minute. So to build your first vehicle, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to put down your lift. Now, always put the lift down if there's anything that you want to build that you're gonna to want to edit later. If you build something on the ground, you will not be able to put the lift under it. So you put the lift down, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna to wanna to use wood for the base of the car, and you're just gonna to wanna to build an even structure. One of the main things about building vehicles in this game is that it's really dependent on how it's how it's how it's built will, will affect how well it hand handles and whether or not it flips over a lot. So you wanna definitely try to get the weight distributed as evenly as possible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be good. So we have the base of the car down. It's a uh, seven wide, and that's fine. We're gonna put the seat down first, just to make sure it is even. So as you can see, there's one on this side, there's two on this side. We're gonna add one more. On the, we're gonna add one more row of wood on this side, just to make it even, so it's balanced out. So there we have the base, and then we're gonna put the engine down behind. Behind. we line it up properly okay now we're gonna lift the car up well the base we have down and we're gonna make this a front wheel drive vehicle the front wheel well, no so we're gonna make it real wheel drive but we're gonna put the we're gonna have the front control of the steering that's just so much easier from what I've seen so what you want to do is you want to put a bearing here and a bearing here in the front corner and you want to put two wood blocks down from there and this is gonna allow us to steer now mind you, the control in this first vehicle is not that great, but this is definitely the easiest mode I found. So after you have those built, you're going to want to put a bearing on both sides here. And we're going to come back here, and on this one, we're not going to put the bearings in the back, because it's real, real wheel drive, so all we want to do is just make sure these have power. So no bearings back here, connecting it to the wood up here. Just wood, 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 and we got the bearing here. So. Once again, we got these all. These are all built exactly the same, except the two fronts have a bearing between this piece of wood and the base of the car. So next, we're going to connect to the tires, and you should be able to find one or two tires as well as a couple bearings if you've if you've cleared out the first couple buildings. All right, so we have all of our tires connected, and now we're going to lower the car down. So next up, you're going to want to get your connector tool out. Connector tool lets us connect things. So the main thing is you need to connect the driver's seat to the engine. And then you are going to want to connect the engine to whatever you're powering. So in this case, we're powering the back wheels. So we're gonna connect the engine to the two back wheels. And then because we're controlling the front wheels, we're gonna connect this to the bearings up here. One top. Now, Definitely what you want to make sure is that the, the bear, these are facing forward. So this rotation is correct. One of them is always the wrong way. So you need to go over here and just right mouse button. And now they're facing the right direction. So we can remove the lift. And now our car is on the ground. <clears throat> so one thing we want to do is you want to get inside of it. You press E. And you just want to press the A key and the D key to see which way it's turning. So mine are turning backwards. So what I want to do is get the connect tool back out and just reverse them. So now when I press A, it turns left. When I press D, it turns right. So everything's good to go there. And lastly, what you need is you need gas. Now you probably found gas in one of the buildings nearby, or there might've been gas by the farm, I can't remember. So the gas tank can hold, I think, 10 gas. So we wanna put gas in our car. Press E, we're gonna put the gas, no, turn it off first. 
This thing I don't believe burns a lot of gas, so I'll just crank it up probably to two thirds. You want, you're gonna wanna play around that a little bit just to uh, make sure that you control it. So we're gonna hop in and we're gonna back up. <clears throat> now as you can see, it's a little bit wonky how it drives, but that's okay, it's our first vehicle. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way to the workshop. The workshop's the first area that lets you really unlock the everything in the game. It lets you craft additional bots that help you craft better machinery, uh, better resources. You can upgrade your resources. And how you find that is you come out of the ship, you follow this path, which we followed in the first video. This is how you get the battery to charge up your ship. It is in this building right here. And we're just going to want to go past this building. And we want to find the road. Now note that the beginning area looks exactly the same in every map that I've loaded, but sometimes the area after this other building that we're coming up to might be a little bit different, but don't, that's okay. All you want to do is find the road and when you follow the road, the road will take you to the workshop. So we're going to head down this hill. Now I've cleared this building that out. I cleared out the outside of it in the first video and then I went ahead and cleared out the rest of it before I started recording this. And if you're short on metal or any other parts, this building has a lot of scrap metal in it as well as a couple of the farm bots. So. You should have no problem finding enough resources. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is come out of this parking lot, we're gonna go down this road and we're just gonna head over to the workshop. And like I said, this I'm not, this may or may not look different. Yeah, this definitely looks different from the last map that I just loaded up earlier today. But that's okay, we're gonna follow the road. The road will definitely take you to the workshop. We're just chugging along here. If you happen to see any supply crates or robots on the side of the road, feel free to stop by. Like, there's one over there. Because we're definitely going to need component parts to build the better machines. So we can stop our vehicle. Oh god, there's one out here. Don't break the car, that's the last thing we want. Oh, there's two of them. Alright, we want to get them away from the car, because if they break the car, that's going to be a big problem. All right, so we handled both of those. That's cool. Hopefully they dropped some metal. Did they not drop? That's interesting. Oh, there's metal. Yeah, definitely early game, get as much scrap metal as possible. So we're just going to take the 10 seconds it takes here to get this one. I don't know where the other one went. I'm not worried about it right now. But you want to make sure they don't attack your car because they will attack your car. You should also turn your car off if you're not using it, but we had extreme danger there, so I didn't want to risk that. So as you notice, the first thing you're gonna come across when you're driving down this road should be a, I believe there's a fruit stand up here somewhere. All right, so we're moseying along down here. Got a sign. Like I said, look to the left and the right just to see if there's any resources. There's some beeswax up there. I remember I couldn't find a beehive in the first, uh, first video. So there's a beehive in case you, uh, Want to collect some beeswax and the bees do not sting you so it's safe to just break them this is interesting this looks completely different from the the last map that i loaded up which is cool but i'm fairly confident that the workshop is going to be up here not too far like i said you could walk this if you don't want to waste resources at the beginning to make the car Now there's a split in the road here, which is oh, there. So there's the workshop. Okay. That's great. So like I said, this looks different than the, the other maps that I played, which is cool. So the maps are not 100% static. I believe that the... I guess we should get out and take care of this guy so he doesn't wreck our car. Oh, we got another one. Okay. Getting all kinds of resources here. But if you follow the road, you will find the workshop. All right, so we're going to collect this metal really quickly, and then we're going to head on up here and get to the workshop so I can show you guys what's in there. Like I said, the workshop is where the game really starts to open up. It's the first place that I would say, if you're going to set up a semi-permanent camp, it's probably the first place. There are a lot of bots here. It's interesting. A lot more than I saw previously. I'm not going to mess with those in the interest of time. There's another one of them. We're gonna have to take care of this guy, he's probably gonna attack us.
Uh oh. Did he drop a component board? Component hit. He did not. Alright. So we're gonna make it to the workshop. That cow is running probably from a farmer bot. So one thing I've noticed is there are typically cows around this area, around the workshop, which is cool, so that you can get milk from them. And we're just gonna park. Uh oh, got another guy here. Well, this is good because we're getting a lot of resources here. All right, so we're gonna head on over into the workshop and park our car in there, just to keep it safe. Now, one thing, do not park it. Do not park it on the center square. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so get out of the car. Turn the engine off. Oops. Make sure you turn the engine off to save gas, because it will burn gas when it's just sitting there. Now, this is the workshop. First thing you're going to notice is there is a craft bot over here that requires power. Uh, the power goes here. Up top is a control panel, which also requires power. Fortunately, there is a battery over here. And the battery, I believe, is in the center, in number two. So we're going to go on number or it's, Yeah, it's in number three. So we're going to go on number two. Get knocked out by the door. And we're going to set our respawn point here because we are going to have to fight a farm bot. So now we're going to respawn here. Anytime, we, anytime you die in the game, you're going to respawn here if you set your respawn point here. So there should be a robot. There should be a farm bot in here protecting the battery, which there is. So definitely hit that... Say, Save in that bed, or uh, sleep in the bed, just in case you uh, are unable to take care of this farm bot. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the battery, there is nothing, there shouldn't be anything down in here. Boy, I hit that door hard, huh? Knock me out. Is this a window, or can we jump out? Oh, you can jump right out of there. There's usually a, oh, there's not there. So there's usually a supply crate somewhere around this building. Guess it's in different spots. Maybe there's not one this time. Oh, one thing also, the supply crates, the green supply crates do respawn. So if you break them, you can go back and I'm not sure exactly how long it is. It might be a couple days in game time. So maybe two or three days, something like that. They will respawn. You can go back and get the resources from them, which is cool. The green ones do. So far, I've seen some gold. The gold ones do not respawn. All right, so we're gonna put the battery in here and we're powered up. Now this thing over here is just gonna be the same craft bot we had in the first area. So if you wanted to, you could have waited till you got over here to build your first car. The more important thing is we're gonna go up top here and we're gonna show you what's inside this control panel. So this is the mechanic station. Top is the craft bot. Then we have the cook bot, the refinery bot, the dress bot, and the resource collector. The first thing you definitely wanna craft is the craft bot. And I need two more metal. And I need five more component parts, so that's interesting. After you collect, so we're gonna basically, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna go wander around and find some more farm bots to kill. And after you, after you make the craft bot, I'm gonna recommend you probably should make the refinery bot, refine bot second. Actually, you should probably, you should probably make the craft bot first and upgrade it once, so that you can have extra slots for crafting, and then make the refine bot, the resource collector the cook bot, and lastly the dress bot. The dress bot is the hardest to make because it takes tier three metal. And it's really, it's co it creates, co it allows you to create cosmetics so you can change how you look. So I know people probably find that important and it is it is important, but you don't need to really do that right at the beginning. So definitely focus on craft bot first, upgrade it once, then do the refinery bot, the resource collector, the cook bot, and the dress bot. And also of note, you should probably plant crops sooner rather than later. I'm gonna go out and look for some resources so that I can craft this craft bot and show you, show, show you guys what it looks like. So I managed to find the last component kits that I needed in order to craft our first craft bot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the mechanic station See, we have all the resources we need. We have the metal, we have the com we have the circuit boards, and we have just enough component kits in order to make our craft bot. So we're gonna hit craft. And it's gonna come falling down from the sky over there. From the, uh, up here. One thing you're gonna make sure is whenever you craft one of these bots, you wanna make sure you move it. You do not want it sitting directly 
in front of or directly underneath there because there's always a chance it could bug out when the next one comes down and falls on top of it. So we're gonna look in here and see what you guys can see what you see the difference now. So the first craft bot that was against the wall basically just allowed us to craft the lowest tier of everything. This craft bot at level one now lets us craft another another more tools. So we have the paint tool, we have the weld tool. We can now transform basic blocks. So for example, we can turn these wood blocks into one by, we can turn the wood into wood blocks. There's higher level wood blocks. There's also metal, so we can create uh, higher metal blocks as well. And we're gonna have more sturdy parts down here for our vehicles. And we're also gonna see a chest for storing things. Uh, a lot of this stuff you might remember from survival, such as the logic gate, timers, controllers. These are all in here now. We have the thruster and we have containers. So basically there's more storage containers. Main things you want to see here is uh, we have the saw blade and the drill. So because we have these two, we're going to uh, focus next on probably harvesting resources in order to use these in order. We're going to make we're going to make a we're going to turn our vehicle into a better vehicle. We're going to make better tires and we're going to use the, the drill because the drill allows you to farm the big rocks that you can't break. The rocks will give you materials to make concrete and also metal. And then the saw blades obviously is to cut down trees. These obviously, these probably also can be used for your defenses later on when you're fighting against uh, larger raids. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you for the craft bot. So like I said, next up, I would probably recommend upgrading that one time because it's gonna let you, it's gonna let you be able to make more of each thing. And then after that, I would focus on the refinery bot and the resource collector. These are going to let you, and this is, again, it's all dependent upon how many, it depends upon how many, um, how many of each resource you have. So if you end up having, if you're short on component kits, you might want to focus on doing the refinery bot and then, and then the resource collector since that costs none, but definitely the order will be refinery bot, resource collector, then cook bot, then dress bot, because these allow you to get more resources quickly. This will help you make better food so you can convert your food into sandwiches which can be used to fully restore your your health your hunger and your thirst bars and there's also a, a recipe you can use that creates res, uh, respawn or revive revive uh, subs so basically there's these long sandwiches that when you give them to a fallen teammate they can eat them and revive so they don't have to respawn back to where their last respawn point was and then of course last but not least dress bot and we did manage to find while we were wandering around some garment boxes the garment boxes you need those and cotton to use in the dress bot to make cosmetics. We'll cover that in a later video. So anyway, that's it for now. Hopefully you found this got the video helpful. Uh, once again, we built our first vehicle. We got to the workshop. The workshop's where you start basically opening up the really cool stuff in the game. So I'd recommend setting up shop here for the time being until you have everything made. And then once you have the resources, you can move on to another area uh, further along in the game. And uh, yeah, that's it for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It really does help the channel. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. I put out videos like this on a regular basis. And I do stream over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash mediacremilton. Link to is down in the description below, along with all of my other socials. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.